free plug and alert this time from blue cat audio we have seven free plugins let's go ahead and check them out real quick and see what you get now we're using pro tools but these are all uh, vst and au compatible as well so that means they're going to work in reaper studio one cubase logic basically everything so first up we have an eq let's pop it up here and pop up the other version of the uh, same eq so right here we have what's called blue cats triple eq it's three bands as you can see are low mid and the high and over here we have what's called the dual version so with the dual version we're able to eq each side differently we can also do uh, mid side right here as well so let's play back and check this out a little bit so for example on channel one here i could uh let's actually pull down the low end just on the, the uh, left channel increase it on the right if you wanted to do that of course now obviously over here with the uh, standard triple eq it's going to operate just like any other uh, EQ would EQing both sides exactly uh, the same. So there's a lot of features to uh, all of these plugins. So we don't need to go over much over an EQ. I'm sure everybody knows what an EQ does. We can raise or lower the entire curve in this case for each side. Again, low, mid, and high channels, and uh, absolute or relative. Uh, we can do channel linking here, absolute and relative. Lots of stuff. But we also have. Uh, things in here like transparency and this is going to hold true for all of the different plugins uh, that we show here all right transparency there we have a bunch of presets always right up in here we can change the size of the interface which is pretty nice especially if you have a 4k monitor lots of things you can do with uh, all of these uh, plugins but let's move on that is our eq let's move on to the chorus now we have a piano here Pop on the course. All of your basic controls for that you would have for your course, delay, depth, rate, spread. We have dry and wet there. Pull the wet down. Just hit the dry. Pull the wet in there. Don't want too much of the wet. Spread it open. Turn that rate really high if I wanted to. But in this case, I just want it down like that. It just opens it up a little bit more on this uh, piano. Another feature you're going to find across all of these plugins is we can actually control these with MIDI, which is another really cool feature. And again, this holds true through all of the uh, plugins. But right here on the chorus, we can click this gear icon. And down here, you'll see our MIDI learn. You'll, you'll see control settings for... Uh, each parameter, you can say all control settings and you can set them all up uh, at once here if you want to as well. But first you're gonna have to set this up uh, in your DAW and it's going to you know it's going to depend on your exact DAW, but here in Pro Tools, I already have a MIDI track created right here. I have my input to all, so that way it's accepting the input from my keyboard. And then on this drop down, I have it directed to channel one uh, of the chorus. Then up here in the chorus, you can click your hamburger icon or Let's come over here actually and click right here and say MIDI program change. And I have this set to channel one. Okay. So once you have that set up, let me go ahead and arm that track. So that way I get MIDI input. Again, just make sure you click your gear icon, use my drop down. I'll say MIDI learn and I'll change a, uh, a fader or a uh, rotary encoder. I'll learn that. Then I'll click down and take that off of MIDI learn. And then I'll do my drop down here and say MIDI learn for this. Give that a different knob and have that learned there. Okay, unlearn that. You can go through and do all of these. You could also learn them, of course, to the same knob or same fader if you want, or do them all at the same time uh, in this uh, in this pop-up window right here. And that, of course, holds true through all of the different plugins. So as uh, if we look at the EQ that we saw previously, click my gear icon there. Let me come here first and make sure this is set. And I have this one on channel two. I have my MIDI track right here. Let's make sure I arm that. And I have that going into, let's go ahead and set this one up to our EQ. We'll say the dual and channel two in this case. And we can do the same thing here. So I can 
if I want to learn this, I can see me to learn there. And then I can learn all of my different parameters. I could even learn both of those knobs uh, at the same time. So that's a pretty cool feature to have for all of these seven different plugins. All right, let's move on from the course onto a flanger that is also included for free here. And check this out. Of course, we have a bunch of presets up here that you can go through. Don't need to spend a lot of time on the flanger. I'm sure everybody knows what a flanger does. But also included is a full amp suite with three different amps. So right now we have this uh, on the clean amp. And we're going to bring that in with our flanger, of course, before that. So let's play that back. So that's again the clean amp. Let's come down here. And now we have a phaser also included here. And we'll check that one out first. Dry and wet. And presets up here. Maybe a light vibe. Kind of cool, but that's a dry guitar. So let's go ahead and bring up our amp that we also have on here. And now we have it on the classic drive amp. And of course you have presets uh, for this as well, that you can just call up real quick if you need to. And all the same stuff that we talked about uh, up top, we can resize those. We can use MIDI to adjust things, all that uh, good stuff. So now let's hear this here with our phaser and our amp, in this case, again, the classic drive. All right, let me bypass the phaser here. We'll just look at the amp real quick. Also, on all of our plugins, we can use our mouse scroll wheel to adjust things. Uh, whatever uh, knob I have selected, I can also use my up and down arrows or left and right arrows to uh, adjust that as well. I can right click to set it to the default. I can also hit D to set that to the default. I can double click and enter whatever value that I want if I have a knob selected. So I click on, I can hit E and I can bring up that same window and then type in whatever, you know, percentage or, or whatever a parameter that I want there as well. And again, that holds true for all of the uh, different plugins here. Come back to the amp again, this time with the modern drive. So this is just a dry guitar. Now we'll hear it with the modern drive amp. <laughs> Moving on, we're not done yet. We also have what's called the, the gain suite. And there's two different versions of this. There's the gain, which we're looking at the gain dual right now. And we also have just the standard gain right, uh, right here. All right, so what the gain is gonna do is let you adjust volume of, you know, essentially volume of, uh, of your track. So let's look at the dual here real quick. And with the dual, I can adjust the left and right volume of, you know, volume of each side of the track independently. If I turn the left down, I can turn the right up as an example. All right. But of course, much more than that, let me just right click to send those uh, to the center. Uh, we can also do mid side. Uh, all the other same stuff applies up here too. We can make this larger if we need to. But the cool thing that we can do with this gain is we can connect these to each other. So we can adjust different tracks on the fly, which is pretty cool. So let's check out, we'll just stick with the dual gain for now. And I'll bring up both of these here. They're on different tracks, uh, by the way, as you can see. And we'll adjust this up a little bit. 
we can see both of them a little bit better. What we'll do here is let me come up here to this section here so we can hear both. Okay. So if I want to connect these together, just down here where it said not connected, click that. And let's put these on, say, group A. And I'll put this one on group A as well. And then whenever I make an adjustment, you can see that they're both responding exactly the uh, same way. Let me disconnect these for now. I'm gonna make sure I turn on relative for both of these. I'm gonna set up our left here to be minus five, this to be plus two, this to be minus two, and this to be, we'll just say minus three. And we'll go ahead and group these on A. We have relative checked. So now my adjustments will be relative. So this is now gonna be plus seven, this is minus, or plus six. And our adjustments stay relative to where they were, as you can see. You can also do reverse, and that's going to reverse the action as you can see there. So as I pull this one down, this one gets higher. And you can set this up across all of your tracks and get uh, you know, as, uh, as complicated as you want. But the same thing works on the standard gain uh, plugin here as well. Let's pull up a couple of these here and do the same exact thing. Come up here in the track, solo those two. Connect those to, let's just say group B and group B and set them to reverse or relative or whatever you want. We have one more plugin. And this time we have an analyzer. Again, same stuff here. Resize, come in here, factory presets, layout, default size, MIDI setup, large size. All kinds of stuff you can do in here are, of course, make it transparent real quick there as uh, as well. So let's check out this analyzer real quick. You can adjust the precision here. The overall speed of the changes that we see. You can slow it down, slow that down even more. Maybe raise our attack and pull up the release. So it's not changing quite as much there. Now understand our attack and release aren't actually changing the, the audio. It's just uh, for the visualization here. Much slower now on that uh, release. Turn the peak off. So if you don't want to see the peak there, maybe just see the peak. Right now we're showing the average. We could show, say, the left or the right, or maybe the max. Of course, the average, or show all of them at the same time. If there's a certain area of the track you really want to see. We can just click and drag and zoom right in there. See that really close, so maybe you want to make certain adjustments. You can uh, do that real quick. Right click to set that back. All right, a free frequency analyzer. Some you know, some places will charge you 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 100 bucks just for a frequency analyzer. And this one is free along with all of the other plugins from Blue Cat Audio. And you can go pick all of these up right over here. Of course, link will be in the description below. Right over here is where you will download whatever version you happen to need. Also, if you prefer to get them from, let's say, uh, pluginboutique.com, you can get them from here as well. You can see the ones that are free uh, right in here we'll go ahead and throw this in the uh, description as well but that is our seven free plugins from blue cat audio